All right, dudes and dudettes, today is the day. That's right, we're getting into auto crafting and we're starting in the new base. Uh, yeah, I decided we kind of had to move everything over because there were two ME controllers and the other one ended up dying or like the system died. So I just had to move everything over here. Kind of uh, emergen emergently urgently there you go urgently had to move it over uh but i have been just kind of putzing around uh during work today uh while i was waiting between emails and calls uh, i was playing here just a little bit don't worry i was definitely working i was definitely i was working i promise but anyways between calls i did some work down here yeah so this is probably one of my favorite rooms in here right now um, yeah, we have all of our reactors that are all hooked up, set up, good to go. Uh, I did end up setting up a quantum ring here uh, to pump items into here. Uh, and then we have flux points down on the bottom. I'll show you guys there in a second. But yes, this is the room. Oh man, this is where all of our garden cloches are going to be. There's 54 garden cloches per side. So 108 per uh, section here. I think it's like 432 garden cloches we're gonna have that may become very laggy but we're still gonna send it anyway but yeah each of these sections is piped into one of these guys uh, so every nine has their own um, crafter here this one's set up for some industrial hemp seeds and some fluix seeds which are really really handy uh, it's pretty cool the wiring is an absolute nightmare um don't don't judge me but it looks terrible because it is terrible so yes uh but we're not working on this today i'm gonna probably finish up here and then on a stream i might just we might do these three sides here and then complete this thing it'd be cool um but yeah let me show you down here real quick what we got going on uh so we have the cable facades the quantum ring is right above here we have an energy acceptor uh, i don't believe we actually need this but we have it anyway so that i can run a cable um and then we can make it look good from the top and we have a flux point here that's uh given power to the quantum ring and then these guys here each have a flux plug which is pulling power in and each of these has a export bus with redstone coal uranite and dry ice all here pumping in the dry ice is working and oh i did not set a couple of these to auto i totally forgot about that uh, i guess it was just the one so but now that's set to auto so it's not going to be wasting any power but we're generating about a million fe per tick with this i don't believe we'll need to upgrade power generation so yeah 243 242 oh, i can't reach it 227 yeah that one was the one we just set to auto but yeah these guys are working fantastic but let's get into what we really want and that's the auto crafting up here i am so excited it took us three minutes for me to tell you guys what we're gonna do today you stupid idiots but yes look at that it's beautiful uh well, it's not really beautiful yet but let's let's get started on that so what we're gonna need for some auto crafting that is the the thing So we're gonna need some molecular assemblers. This is what handles all of the crafting. And then we're gonna need some ME pattern providers. This gives the molecular assembler the recipe. So we're gonna make a stupid amount of these. Yes, two. Ah, <laughs> uh, geez Louise. Uh, what's the best way to turn this into the dust? I believe it was the crusher from Mechanism um yeah that's probably the best one i haven't actually set up the inscribers yet because yes where did they go ah they're there okay so we have two of the ins inscribers here so we can do this we're gonna grab some acceleration cards and throw it in there so it's nice and speedy i don't believe this affects it it does not. We just wasted a bunch of time. I think it was an hour we just wasted. Total accumulated time is 115 hours. That's crazy. What day are we on here? 943. Oh my gosh. Jeez, we're almost at a thousand days played here. And it's episode 20. I wonder if we'll hit that this episode. 
All right, so actually we probably won't, but anywho, let's get a bunch of these guys crafted up here. Um, I wanna have the same amount, honestly, of each. And so we have 12 and six. So let's get these caught up together. I'm gonna have to do a bit of AFKing today, which is a bummer because I need the, the Fluix to kind of charge up. And... Okay, so it looks like we have one of each. Ah, it's uneven, dang it, okay. So here we go, we need, each of these are gonna require both, so we have to take half. So we'll have 23 ME patterns. Well, that's, that's not really gonna do it, is it? What are we missing? Oh, crafting tables. Okay, we have 23 of those. And then molecular assemblers. We can actually have a lot more. Oh, well, we're not gonna have that much because we're out of that again. All right, so we got 23 of each. I ran out of the other core here. Uh, so now we're gonna go ahead and set it up. But first we need to run a cable up there um, that's gonna handle all of our uh, ME patterns. Oh, I don't want it this, I don't want it here. We want it one over so it has its own channel. And so we're gonna get 32 different channels with this guy. Okay, and the design, I don't really know yet. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm pretty sure here we're gonna have the crafting managers. Um, and then that means we can put a ME pattern provider here. And we're just gonna be doing one to four. So we're gonna need a lot more molecular assemblers and we're gonna need ME pattern um, terminals. So if we go like this and do this pattern here, will give us access to a lot of crafting. Nope, I can't have that there. Hmm. I think that'll be okay. That's a lot of patterns we can now do and it should light up eight devices eight devices yeah that we need more devices than that what if we did this <laughs> and we just kind of went up with it, you know? Um, I, this might be a terrible idea. Okay, so this should give us some more. Device online. Eight devices. Yeah, that, it's the max of what this can have. But... Why 
is it being weird? Okay, so it only does eight. So one, two, three. Oh, frick, I messed up. That's why, geez Louise. I screwed the whole thing up, okay. It literally just goes straight up. Okay, so let's see, that should have more. Okay, maybe if we do, oh, not that one. Here, does this give us more channels? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So here, if we slice this off, should get channels. Okay. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we gotta slice it here. Okay. And you can do this quite a few times, actually. So we have two sections there that are really nice, honestly. And the cool thing about the ME uh, pattern providers is we can throw these guys, whoops, on the back and it will be able to use them. So it's really, really handy. Uh, we can't do it with that one, obviously. Um, but yeah. So we have a lot more channels. Okay, so we have 16, so half of it. So one side here, if we wanna do that and that, we can. If we wanna do one in the middle, which we end up might doing it, uh, it's gonna be really nice, but let's take a look. Okay, so down here, we have the ME pattern. So this is where we make the patterns. Yes, and this is where we can see the molecular assemblers. So all of our molecular assemblers, so anything we can craft in a pattern, we put there. Oh, that's fan freaking tastic. Okay, so let's get some AE2 patterns. It's a little bit more advanced than refined storage, but once you know what you're doing, it's the preferred way. I'm telling you, I'm telling you guys, it's the preferred way of everyone. They just don't know it. So many facades. Um, shoot, where? I need a pattern. Is you? Yes, blank pattern. All right, well, I guess we need to do this. Craft it up, some patterns. All right, and our first pattern is the pattern. Look at that, our first pattern is the pattern. There's some craziness to that. Okay, we're gonna do some quartz glass. Whoa, oh, that's the wrong spot. Quartz glass, there we go. Very good. And we're gonna put this in a different, nope, that's not the pattern. This is the pattern, we're gonna put it in a different one uh, because we want those, like say, say when we're crafting a pattern, we want this molecular assembler focused on crafting the pattern. And then we want this one focused on crafting the quartz itself. So yeah it's way easier we're also going to get into smelting like this is where everything becomes automated we're like really opening up the pack we're making things way easier for us and we're going to have to afk a bit in order to continue to progress with a lot of these so um what are the the things we make a lot of um we made a pattern it's that's important you know you you, you gotta have the patterns in order to have the patterns I'm not getting into the processor automation today. That will probably be within the next couple of episodes because that's going to be its own episode. Um, what about the 1K drives? We can do that. 1Ks. Now, the 1Ks don't require any quartz glass, so we can put that here in here as well because they're essentially the same. Well, no, I think later... 
recipes rely on that. And you don't want it to like, we don't want the, the molecular assembler to take a break from crafting the glass to switch over to the patterns. So that's why you put them in separate ones. Like when you have multiple stages of a craft, you, you put them in different molecular assemblers so that it's like a, a line. Uh, like think of like a assembly line, like one one molecular assembler works on one part of it and then it moves to the next molecular assembler. So that that's really what we want. We'll work on the logic processors here. Yeah, these require the quartz glass. So there we go. We're gonna put that in a different one and I'm spacing these out from each other so they're not next to it. So uh, because our ME pattern provider is connected to these, uh, it might be using this molecular assembler and I would, as much as I can, like to uh, avoid these two from having recipes that are right next to each other because then they're having to take turns on this molecular assembler. So there's, again, if you like networking stuff, this mod is for you. I've always said that of like applied energistics is for the networking people who love it. And I happen to be one of those people. Um, again, networking is way more advanced in the real world, but you know what I'm saying. It's fun, it's complicated. It, ma it, ma it makes you think you have to use your brain to do it. And I, I mean, if you don't like, you know, if you don't wanna do that, I'm not saying you're dumb or anything, but you know, it just, it's the cup of tea for some people. And I happen to be one of those tea drinkers. So we're gonna do the 256 here. Um, and yeah, once we get the logic, once we get the processors automated, which I'm thinking about putting up over here, we'll be able to auto craft all of these and then fill this up. So we'll just be like, system, give me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 70, 256 K drives. And it'll be like, okay. And then it'll give us 70 of them and we can just fill them up, but it's going to take a lot of resources. And again, there's going to be a lot of AFKing because our resources generate passively right now um and our mob farm is still currently working so good we're almost at 2000 levels from our mob farm it's pretty crazy okay okay so the next thing we need to do with the crafting is set up the crafting uh, what are they called again the crafting storage and co-processing unit essentially like we give this kind of multi-block structure the items and it processes the craft it's a little bit different than refined storage so we're gonna be doing that so 64k uses we gotta combine it with a block this guy ah okay and then what else do we need we need the logic oh shoot Got a couple of them that we can use. We got a couple of these. Yay. Okay, so those have processed up. So now we can go ahead and make the crafting units, which is just you guys. <laughs> Aha. All right, so yes, the we need a co-processing one, which requires that. Beautiful. So we got a couple of those that allows it to, I believe, use multiple, like co-processing, so it allows it to do different things. Uh, the crafting co-processing unit helps speed up crafting jobs by allowing pattern providers to either send items out to connect uh, to their connected devices faster or to work con congruently to make multiple required ingredients. The base AU2 co-process unit provides one coprocessor thread to assist this. While the coprocessing unit from Mega Cells provides four threads in a single such block. Is there a use for this? Any requester? Hmm. Well, we made it. And yeah, it's gonna require us to make the storage. So we're gonna go like this. Perfect. Yep, there's that quest. That's pretty cool. We're gonna get some AE items here. Hey, we got some patterns too. Molecular assemblers made those and the accelerator card. Yes. Advanced inscribers. Did I have, yeah, I had those. Okay, what else can we do on this page? Level emitter, that's kind of a sense of auto crafting. Crystal growth accelerator, I forgot we had these uses. 
we don't need those because we automate we automate our uh, crystals. So, anywho, let's get up there and put this in. So, right here, um, start off with this. Ah, this this might not end up very good. There we go. Okay, so this is our first crafting unit. What a unit! <laughs> I'm sorry, that's a really some low-hanging fruit jokes there. Anywho, I don't know what we're putting in this little hole, honestly. It's yeah. Okay, so let's see here when we connect it up. Should get a channel from it right away. Booyah, one channel. So now we're up to 17 channels. This is only one and 64 times four. You do the math. That's what we got. So we can make some pretty big crafts with that, um, I guess. I guess, uh, let's see, show all fluids, craftable items. Can we make any 1Ks? We can make a single 1K and it's done. What about 10? We can do that as well. Yeah, I don't think we can make it in time. Yeah, it's already done. The 1Ks have been created. <laughs> it's fast. Uh, but yeah, so that's where we put those in. I wonder, we have a crafting terminal, like a window so we can see the crafts. Crafting monitor, yes, this guy. No, I wanna make that, I don't want a pattern for it. Need a level emitter, that's gonna give us a quest. Oh, that didn't give us a quest. Now it did, <laughs> all right. And then here we go, and then Got it, okay. So we're gonna put this guy right here. Oh, I don't think we can put it there. I'm, oh shoot, I'm pretty sure it has to go like here. Yeah, and it'll tell you what's being crafted. That's not gonna really do us any good because we're all the way down here. Gotta zoom in just to see it. 1K, okay, how many can we make? Another 10? No. Let's make five. Huh, can we see it? No, dang it. <laughs> there it is. Ah! Oh, I think that's the recently like inputted, right? No. I have no idea. But yeah, so that's working really good. We now have auto crafting, which is really cool. Blank patterns. We got a couple more of those guys. Yeah, with with the crafting being all the way up there, it's not really useful to have that there. I mean, we'll be able to see it a little bit. I was hoping we could put it here just to see the crafting status. Um, like what's crafting? But you can look here. Crafting CPUs, 256K storage, one coprocessor unit. Yeah, we gotta put that other one back. All right, so now you should see two coprocessors. So the two extra cores allowing it to do better things. Yeah, very cool. All right, so this is the next day, honestly, and a bunch of time has passed. Uh, we have a bunch of Fluix crystals here. This episode feels really janky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, ah, oh, frick. I need to do... Uh, we're doing this next episode, just the inv uh, inscriber automation. Um, I think it might be cool to build. Let's see, we could have. I'm trying to think. Where can we put? We could put it here. We could have silicone being made here. We could have the logic uh, calculation engineering presses, or we could do something in this. Um, I may end up trying to put it up here. So say we have two of these here, two of these here, and we line, ah, I was hoping to line that with the crafting terminal or the crafting storage, like just a complete wall of these. And then we'd break them up every so often, kind of like we did with this. Uh, we'd break these up. Hmm. That is something I definitely want to do. But auto crafting is set up. It's working. 
I just, I don't even know the recipes I want to put into it yet. Um, Cause we gotta get, we gotta get into processing. We gotta get into a lot of things. And I have done a little bit of work here. As you can see, I've sealed this room in. Uh, I did add one more block here, which is the polished soapstone. I don't really want to add any more like a variety of blocks to this build. Um, I'd like to just keep it with the, the like a consistent theme, but I wanted the roof to be something that didn't draw your eye. And the black is a really, um, it's almost like a, a deterrent for your eye, for lack of a better term. Like everything else seems more inviting than looking up at the ceiling. So yeah, and then I also put a circle around this. I wanna see if I can go back to the white uh, elevators just because I think they look a little bit classier. Um, but like the brown matches the tree to wood, but with this one, it'd be cool if I could go white. I just think it looked nicer. But yeah, haven't really done other than that a whole lot of work. Um, I'm gonna work on this wall here. I might just put a bunch of half slabs, like vertical half slabs, like these are vertical half slabs. I might just put a bunch of them here and here and call it good. I was gonna try to do a window so you could see out, but I just don't think that's gonna be very practical. Um, and yeah, this is really a laboratory vibe you don't really want to see outside. So we're going to leave it at that. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. Next episode, I promise we'll do some more fun things. But anyways, I'll see you all then. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.